In Marshall County, West Virginia, an average man at the head of his average family would go on to achieve greatness. Samuel Cockaine first arrived with his brother, Carter, in West Virginia from Maryland in 1795. Sam purchased a piece of land north of what is now Moundsville, where he first began the family farm and operated an ordinary or hotel out of the farmhouse. Samuel eventually acquired 539 acres of farmland, which bordered the Ohio River on the west, crossed the valley to Little Grave Creek, and crested the hillside on the east. His grandson, Samuel A.J. Cockaine took the advantages his family created for him and brought fame and fortune to the all. The Cockaine Farmstead, once known as the Leehurst Farm, became a household name after he began a merino sheep flock in the 1860s. Samuel A.J. raised his purebred, fine-wooled American merino sheep over 500 acres stretched across Marshall County. He began a breeding program in order to achieve the finest quality wool to sell to the community and surrounding areas. Within a few years, the Cockaine name went worldwide as their sheep and fine wool were shipped as far away as Australia, bringing great wealth to the family. Samuel A.J.'s hard work paid off when he won the highest honor of a bronze medal at the 1876 World's Fair in Philadelphia for his merino sheep wool. Two years later, in 1878, he also won recognition for his wool at the Exposition Universelle in Paris, France, farther propelling the Cockaines into international recognition. Samuel A.J. had five daughters, Ella, Sarah, Gertrude, Dora, and Irina, and one son, Samuel A. The five daughters all contributed outstanding pieces of art, poetry, and music that remained in the family farmhouse today as pieces of important artifacts. Samuel A. was the last cocaine to inherit the farmhouse after his mother's death. He was once a member of the Washington District Board of Education and also a one-time postmaster of Glendale. He was a country wool dealer for his family and collected wool from the local farmers and distributed it to eastern markets to be sold. The last generation of the Cockaines had one goal he hoped to achieve, and that was to farm the land that their ancestors owned all the years prior. Samuel dropped out of high school in his sophomore year, spending all of his time tending to the farm. Eventually, he was drafted into the service to his country during World War II, bringing his family name even more honor. After his return home, he slowly became reclusive and stopped tending to the land. He began to live a rudimentary life and lived mainly out of the back two rooms up until his death in January of 2001. The 500 plus acres of land once held by the Cockaines was eventually sold off in parcels that became the sites for what is now important parts of Glendale. Samuel A. Cockaine deeded more than two acres to John Marshall High School, which is directly across the street from the Cockaine Farmstead. The Cockaine name was known internationally for its hard-working men, artistic young women, and their renewed purebred sheep. The family came from relatively nothing and worked hard to meet their numerous and unique accomplishments throughout generations. Their legacy lives on in the dedication of the volunteers who invest their time in preserving and maintaining the Cockaine Farmstead. Stepping inside is like a trip back in time when one family could rise to great heights through perseverance and the desire to be at the best at what they do.